Hello everyone, I am Katie and today I am going to show you how to use the Reason for the Season stamp set and the Festive Flower Builder Punch and make some beautiful paper poinsettias. Poinsettias. How do you say them? Either way, they make beautiful flowers. So these two products completely complement each other and can be used together or they can be used individually. Let me start out with the stamp set, the reason for the season stamp set. There are lots of different images in this stamp set and actually three different ways to use them. As you can see, you've got three of your holiday greetings right here. You also have a poinsettia image with three other smaller images that you can two-step stamp with this image to create different shading for your flower. And then these three images right here are to be used with the Festive Flower Builder Punch. The smaller one right here, this is for your petals. It will show the veins of your petals. And this, this double petal right here is for this shape right here on the punch. This larger one right here is for the leaf and it shows the larger veins of the leaf to coordinate with the punch. So I am going to show you how to create the poinsettia flower using these two together. Now I like to start out with strips of paper that are about two and a half inches wide. Uh, it works really well as I slide it through the punch. Now I have pre-stamped my images on this real red paper and I actually stamped with the real red ink as well. So I need eight of the large petals for the base of the flower four of the smaller petals, and then two of these double petals. So I have already stamped all of those out on my strips of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch those out now. Now that I have all of my petals punched out and stamped, I need a base to my flower, something that can hold it all together. So I am going to grab uh, one of our circle punches. It doesn't really matter what size because all of the petals are going to be hiding it. You can use either the inch or the three quarter inch circle punch. I'm gonna use the inch circle punch and just cut me a base out of that same real red cardstock. Now before I start gluing my petals down, I want to give them just a little bit of life. So I am just going to fold them just right down the center and then fold them back out. So that just gives them a little bit of texture and makes them look more like real petals. All right, now that all of my petals are folded, I can actually begin building my flower. So I'm going to use the Tombow Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue. And I like using this because it doesn't dry right away. So it gives me a little bit of wiggle time to move my petals around to get them exactly where I want them before it completely dries. For that base layer, I'm just going to start with four petals and glue them down just so they pretty much make an X. So just one straight across from the other, like that. And then I'm going to do that again for my next level, but this time I'm gonna put them in between. So I'm just gonna put my glue right there. Now if you wanted to add more dimension to this flower, you could actually cut out another circle base and go from there and attach that circle base even with some dimensionals on the top of this layer to get a nice full flower. And see how I'm just moving my petals so I can get that fullness that I want. Just like that. So now before I put on my next layer of petals, I am going to grab my circle punch again and give me another base and put more glue on there and arrange my smaller petals on that same circle. And now I can bring in my two double petals and those crisscross right over the top of those smaller petals. So I'll start with a dot of glue 
and lay one across. And then put another dot of glue on top to do the crisscross, just like that. And then to add the layers, I'll put on some glue on the back of that and kind of off center it however I want and push that down. Like I said, I could use dimensionals if I really wanted to pop that up, uh, but I'm just going to use glue and put that together just like that. Now my flower is almost complete, but I'm missing the cute little center part of the flower. So for that, I'm going to use my punch and this little X almost up here at the top. And I want mine to be yellow, so I'm going to bring in some crushed curry and punch out two of those. And then same thing with these, I'm just gonna add a dab of glue to the very center, put it in my flower, push it down, and then layer that second one right on top of the first. And there is my flower. So now let's do the leaves. So I've pre-stamped my leaves, so I'm gonna punch those out. And for those, I'm going to use this bigger petal or leaf. So there are my punched up petals. So now I'm going to turn my flower over and simply glue those on where I want them to go. So here is my finished paper flower. Let me show you what that looks like on a sample. You can see how it just adds so much to this beautiful packaging to have that festive poinsettia flower on there. Now, of course, you can make poinsettias for the holiday. We've got red ones, and I made a white one right here. But you can also use just the punch alone just to create the flower. So here's a red one that I made that doesn't have any stamping on it. And then I also made a yellow flower. This one to me almost looks like a daffodil. But my very favorite flower that I made with both of these sets isn't a holiday flower at all. To me, this almost looks like one of those beautiful Hawaiian flowers. And for this, I actually used uh, watercolor paper and watercolored it, so stamped the images on the paper and then misted it so the ink kind of spread and then punched it out. And you really can just create any type of flower that you want to with the Festive Flower Builder Punch. And so contact your demonstrator today or visit us online at stampinup.com and purchase the Reason for the Season stamp set and the Festive Flower Builder Punch. And then you can create all of the flowers you want. And I want to know, how do you say it? Poinsettia or poinsettia? Leave a comment below. You're still here. The video's over. You can go now. Well, since you're still here, you might as well subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Yes, I am. I didn't say anything there. <laughs> I'm not an actress. We've had this discussion.